Okay, 37 is using true table again. Determine whether the argument is valid or invalid. This is 37, this is 33. We have two premises. This is a premise number one. Number one. Uh -huh. so in this case, it's the condition. It's taming. And the condition is false only when it is true, the antecedent, and false, the consequences. This is false. And the rest is true. Mm -hmm. This is the true value for the uh, premise number one. Uh, premise number two is negation Q. This is the premise number two. Negation Q is completely opposite val true value of this. It is false, true, false, and true. Now, let's do it the conjunction between premise number one and premise number two. So basically is unlike this column and this column. And remember the conjunction is true only when the both input are true here. The rest is false because we have at least one false. After that we found the conclusion. The conclusion is negation P. Negation P is completely opposite true value. This is false, false, true, true. Okay, finally, we formed the uh, new statement is formed by the uh, a conjunction is premise and is a conditional and the conclusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we analyze uh, this column and this column. And remember, conditional is only false when antecedent is true here and the consequent is false. But in this case no false true. Therefore it's obvious that in this case always is true. Uh -huh. One more time we have a tautology. Tautology. Uh -huh. Now the the answer is that the argument is valid. Okay, 38. 38 is proof that this argument is valid. Okay, let's work in the first premise. First premise involves negation P. Negation P is false, completely opposite true value. False, true, and true. Now, negation P conditional Q. This is the first premise. Number one. Remember, the conditional statement is only false when the antecedent is this is true and the consequent is false. Here is false. The rest is true. True, true, and true. Okay, now let's work in the second premise. The second premise is involve negation Q. Negation Q is completely true value of Q. And opposite is false, is true, is false, that's true. Okay, now conditional negation Q R on P. As in this premise number two, the antecedent is this column, and the consequent is the first column. So this is only false. When the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, because this combination again false and the rest is true, 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 and true. Okay, now the extra column is the conjunction premise one and premise two put together. Uh -huh. Now is it's in between one and two, true, true is true, true. 
true and false. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me call this like a number three statement. Because so now uh, the conclusion. The conclusion has P uh, disjunction. Q. Okay, it's true always when there are at least one, one true. This is true here, true here, true here. And this is false. It's the only case false. Uh -huh. And finally, we are set up the conditional between 3 and the conclusion is P uh, disjunction Q. Okay, yes, this is the new. Uh, antecedent and this is the consequence. So basically where I am working using this column is the antecedent and this column is the consequent. Okay now remember the condition is only false when it's true the antecedent here here oh and is false the consequent because in this case you see can never happen this <laughs> never happen this is true 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 is tautology then again tautology and the uh, confirmation is that the argument is valid <laughs>